Well, I started walking kind of actively in 2020, around September, October. For some reason, I just decided, it was the middle of the pandemic, I just decided I'd wear my mask, and instead of driving to work, which was always a little bit stressful, I would just walk. So one day I just got up, put some shoes on that were smart, and I walked. And it took me about 48, 49 minutes to do that walk. It was about a four and a half kilometer walk from Westlands to Aga Khan. And I really enjoyed it. I realized that I could see what life was about in the spaces I was driving through. I could see people living and breathing. I could see life. I, I noticed buildings that I didn't notice for weeks or months that I'd been driving. I noticed the various kibandas that were on the street. And I decided at the end of that day that I was going to try and walk back. And after that, it just became a, a thing that I wanted to do. I had like 48 minutes to myself every morning. I could collect my thoughts. I could consider what was happening around the world. And I didn't need to be in a rush. I just needed to wake up a little bit earlier and wear some smart shoes. Probably I walk about three or four days a week. And for the other three or four days, I'll rest for one day and I'll go jogging for the other three days. Yeah, so I'll run the same distance, about six kilometers or 10 kilometers, three times a week. And the rest of the time I'll be walking, either on a treadmill or in the streets or in the forest. Change the environment to have a different experience every time. But I try and do that almost religiously so that there's no more than one or two days a week when I'm not either walking deliberately or running deliberately. Well, the first thing I noticed, and I didn't do this deliberately, I was walking for the fun of it, for the environment. Um, the first thing I noticed is I was losing weight. I actually lost about eight kilos in the process of walking over the course of about six months. And that was, that was a side effect that I wasn't anticipating or planning. I didn't make any changes to my diet except I stopped eating chocolate. Everything else I accepted. There hadn't been a very big difference in my, in my diet at that stage. Other changes, obviously your mood is, is improved, your sleep is much better if you've walked briskly. I mean, walking and counting your money is different from walking deliberately to try and make yourself, your heart rate speed up and your, your, you, you know, make, make yourself sweat a little bit. So when you do that, actually sleep is improved because you feel like you've done a bit of a workout. I think all forms of exercise have advantages and disadvantages. Walking is something that's available to most, most of us. Most of us who don't have arthritis or any other reasons not to walk, will be walking in the course of our day-to-day -day activities. Instead of running up there, uh, taking an elevator, you can walk up the stairs. Uh, instead of uh, parking very close to the, you know, to the hospital, you can park a further distance and walk. So you can actually incorporate it within your day-to-day -day environment. And many people nowadays have got little apps on their phones that will d document how much walking, whether it's how many steps they take or what kilometers they're doing. And so you can also monitor it in a better way than if you were to say, decide to do swimming or something, uh, something different. I think walking comes naturally to all of us because all of us uh, who are active will be doing that. So if you just make a small adjustment to the way that you dress, instead of wearing tight fitting suits, you can wear a looser fitting suit or a track suit. Uh, instead of wearing very, very tight and uh, smart shoes, wearing you know, sneakers or trainers. Uh, being able to do that allows you to now be comfortable walking up the stairs instead of, run, instead of taking the elevator. Uh, so uh, small adjustments allow you to do that. If you want to take up swimming, it's an excellent alternative form of exercise, but you need a swimming pool. You need to get into a changing room, you need to change. You can walk within the course of your day and ensure that you actually get your steps or your kilometers in. So it's more, accessible. The heart clinic at the Aga Khan Hospital noticed that a lot of our patients were not able to meet their exercise demands and we had a discussion with the leadership of the institution and developed a relationship with the sports club next door, the Aga Khan Hospital Sports Club. And what we've done is we've agreed that at least once a week we'll all convene and walk as a group. Different rates at different speeds but everyone will meet and walk and it's great because it allows us to reconnect with our friends, spend some time networking, meeting people that we haven't necessarily had the opportunity to meet. Um, a lot of people who want to meet me know that on a Tuesday I'll be here on the, on the field and they'll actually come and look for me. On average, we've probably got about 200 people on our WhatsApp group. On average, we have between 30 and 40 people at any given moment um, uh, attending the walk and the walk starts between five o'clock 
and seven o'clock. So probably we have about 50 people walking from different parts of the, the hospital and a few patients joining us as well. But we're expecting this to grow because uh, the institution is much bigger than that and all of us deserve to incorporate this within our lifestyles.